What I can't understand, and perhaps you can put it in perspective, in the construction sector, the employers offered 11.5 percent, but uh, and it was taken back to by the union leaders to their representatives. They, however, have now rejected this, saying they want 12 percent. It's a half a percent difference. Is this just? Uh, uh, muscle, uh, flexing of muscles. Yeah, look, I think we're seeing a lot of ice picking chipping away just at the end of it, but I must say I was surprised. I thought, you know, this was going to be a deal. And 11.5% is a very good settlement. What I think is significant here is that the, the common factor is the National Union of Mine Workers. They, more than any other union, seem to have their heart set on the high double digit at the moment. And obviously at the same time, their negotiations in coal, gold and platinum are hanging on the edge. So everyone will be watching this one. I think, and of course we don't know this, um, that I would like to have been a fly on the wall in the employers' lobby during the caucuses. Um, I have a suspicion there may not have been unanimity there, and uh, it's quite feasible the union may have picked up on this and have sort of, you know, um, sunk the dart at the death of the thing. Um, but I am surprised, um, and, you know, if the employers go from 11.5 to 12, then NUM are going to feel vindicated, and it's going to have a, a very, very strong impact on the other pending negotiations. Government was involved in this. Oh, yes, they were, yes, and that's another source of surprise. Um, the Minister of Labor convened some meetings at the CCMA, and I think he was probably pretty persuasive. Uh, so once again, I think that there's something in the background that we may not know about which is significant because if the minister thought he had a deal at 11.5% and the membership said no and uh, uh, the organisers didn't manage to persuade them, that's also significant. So one way or the other, this has been a very, very important uh, um, particular negotiation. The membership said no and the difference is half a percent. Yeah. Well, you know, at the end of the day, uh, at some point you do walk away, so it could have been half a percent, a quarter of a percent or not. But uh, what strikes me is that in the light of both the meetings and the offer on the table, uh, which was taken to them by the uh, union organisers, which is indicative of the fact that they think, OK, this is a deal, mm. they said no. It's not the only strike that's being through. Well, that is, uh, that they're, they're on strike at the moment, but there are threatens... Uh, coming from the General Industry Workers Union, which represents chemicals, energy, paper, pharmaceuticals. They're looking for 13.5%. The employers there have only offered 8 Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, once again, will it be double-digit? That's the key thing at the moment. Uh, at the end of last year, the employers were somewhat more willing to settle at double digits, but there's a very strong resistance now. We've also had a number of uh, important settlements which are well away from the double digits, and uh, as everyone knows, CPIs come off a lot. So there really is very little justification for double digits, and I would think that 13% uh, uh, is just not achievable in, in that sector. Well, the construction guys have nearly got there, uh, uh, but I yeah. suppose it's different sectors, different profitable. I, I, I think so, yeah. Yeah. Well, what about the doctors now <laughs> turning down government? Yes, well, again, I, you know, I, th I think there's a general sense that um, we're on a roll and um, the more we ask for, uh, the more we'll get because up until now, what does their experience tell them? Demand more, go out on strike, down stethoscopes, and, and you get what you want. So I think there's a general sense of um, we're empowered and we can do it. Uh, again, not sure what went on behind the scenes, but it would be interesting to know uh, how that one was managed. I've got some suspicions. Andrew, you plugged in. What is likely to happen? What's the, what, what is the consequence going to be of all of this? Um, you know, it's, it's actually hard to tell. All of the underlying factors suggest that the level of wage settlements are going to drop quite rapidly. Uh, but if we get two or three big settlements at the higher level, uh, then it's, it's going to make that very sticky in a downward direction. I think the short-term thing is lots more strikes between now and the end of the year. Um, the real question is, will the settlement level drop to nine, nine and a half or not? Possibly not. I still doubt that we're going to see uh, an overall average of double digits this, uh, this year. But the one to watch in the future is uh, government, um, the Salga negotiations, because those are their employees, and of course every employer is a voter as well, so that's going to put them on their metal. And if the public sector settles in or around the double digit figure, it's going to have a tremendous upward uh, um, impact on expectations for bargaining next year. Higher inflation, higher interest rates, we all suffer. They've built